sometimes you're out there bombing a tree park or you know. I mean America, the country wondered why we were there. But when we were there doing the, the it's one thing to go out on a combat mission, another thing to do close air support. We you, you hear the your your friendly troops saying, put them on them, you know, they're, they're, that was that was pretty rewarding. But when you go to rescue a fellow American that's been shot down, and that's what really we're gonna highlight when we restore this airplane and build the store where it's about search and rescue. There was nothing like that. It was scanned off in 84, which is exactly the same calling pattern that, uh, that the H model has. So I went to Planes of Fame and brought a portable scanner. I didn't, I'm not doing this, but I brought it out and uh, uh, we scanned the entire part. We made this 3D printed uh, when it was done. We took it out and mounted it on the airplane, and it, on the AD-4, it just slid right in. And as you can see, the the, uh, the idea was, we scanned it, there's no little bag in there, Ken. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We got a sway brace that we did, too. But, uh, the original of this, armor plated, weighs 40 pounds, this weighs 3 pounds. And the other end of the spectrum is sort of the small part stuff. This is a sway brace for the outer weapons pylons. You know, they're, to, to my knowledge, they don't exist. And okay. so we took a known piece and scanned it, and uh, this is an, as exact as you can make of, you know, and for the purposes of what we're trying to achieve, I, just, I can't think of a better solution because, because uh, this is, um, Thank you for joining our live. We're at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. We're in the uh, restoration hangar. Got a Sky Raider undergoing restoration, which is amazing. The restoration crews just took the engine off, I believe last week. So this is one of the big projects our team is working on.